you're sitting on a gold mine here. We can make a fortune with these things. In the first 30 seconds of a video internally circulating at Insomniac Games, inclusion experts immediately praise social media as powerful. In the first 30 seconds, they immediately highlight people coming of age and mention even younger people. Why is this pertinent? Because this is their target audience. Why are they the target audience? Because these are the most impressionable people, of course. At these ages, not unlike a sponge, susceptible to conditioning. Dia mentioned recently with a South Park episode highlighting that children, of course, are the target, but they have to pretend that they're not. These people are not pretending. They want your children and as some of them will chant in the streets when they're not busy on a Disney Zoom call. They're there, they're queer, and they're apparently coming for your children. When they emphasize and praise social media right off the rip in their inclusion expert videos because they obviously recognize it as a powerful tool to spread their message to kids. This is within the first 30 seconds of a 12 minute video where immediately the topic of discussion is representation, skin color, exposure, they drop the phrase white audiences, queer identity, and some idiot immediately jumps up to say, I'd have come out sooner if there were better portrayal of lesbians and just fucking gag me with this horse shit, man. You know, I'll never be one of these other YouTubers because I'm not holding my tongue in discussing these absolute and I'm a degenerate because I like big titties. At least them bitches of age, my nigga. Girl power. Girl power. Since when did you start saying girl power? <laughs> uh, I always say that. Uh, girl power? <laughs> Hello, beta testers. Hisashi Budidana. At a moment during this inclusion video, some lady looks at Miles Morales and says, I don't see African American culture through him. And my nigga was wearing his school clothes. Do you know what that did to me? Do you know what it did? You can't imagine, and I can't begin to articulate. This piece is from Genshin Impact, a game that has truly managed to synergize with different aspects of the experience to invoke a true emotional response in asswipes like me. But it's just another game people will dismiss like they do Fortnite because it's just a gotcha game, it's just a kid's game. People are proud to wear their ignorance, failing to verse themselves and worse, taking pride in that, which unironically makes them equal, in my eyes, to the woke hacks, lazily race swapping shit. In Soiniac's leaked video, has people reminding people not to make it strictly about the identity because they're well aware that people are sick of this inorganic college brochure ass rainbow representation in these tame goody two shoes ass shows written by people who show instantly how destined to be bullied they always were the bubble trapping the farts that these pussies have been huffing in their echo chambers is ready to burst and we are not the poppers. Genshin manages high quality isekai, an outlet, an escape. The lessons bestowed by Fortnite and Genshin Impact are masterclasses and should appeal to any aspiring fishermen, especially in the gaming industry, who should understand that they won't catch anything when their bait, by contrast, is dull, dated, tastes terrible, 
and is regarded at a glance as repulsive. This is a tough pill for woke niggas to swallow. They seem to think that they can just redefine things and establish new standards of, of what, what is considered beauty. Yeah, no. See, the thing about a knockoff is it falls short of the original. It is by definition inferior. You can call peeling back a mask like a tin can so the fro can come out and with his adidas on so you can instantly recognize him as black, original, but that doesn't change what the word actually means. And if it could stop there, that'd be fine, but it can't just be LGB, it can't just be LGBT, it has to be LGBT plus premium, and the plus is why the child needs to be present in a mature game replacing what used to be a femme fatale so your new inferior Harley, another femme fatale reduced inexplicably for this mature game with a coincidentally flat chest, can then refer to a child Ivy as quote, fun sized and allude to a gay romance shared between these characters, presumably happening off screen between games, since, of course, this is the Arkhamverse. Because remember that, you like that, don't you? Even though previously Harley defined toxicity with a relationship with a man she was obsessed with, you know, I'm not opposed to changes, to growth, to freedom for the artists to explore and realize their work, but this is art. And unless its intention is strictly to repulse, if this is meant to turn a profit, we can kind of judge it accordingly. Because when you're getting dug out so deep by ESG that the discharge spewing out of you is effortlessly the worst incarnation of these characters historically, time will situate your bitch ass where you belong. I realize I don't have to mock you. I can just hold up the mirror. That's what makes me the worst of the messengers. It's not really hate. It's just honest critique. Not the memes you wanted, but the memes you deserve. <laughs> Ugly women in video games so rampant you got kids running their mouth about car accidents as if it matters with the series of ones and zeros crafted in this digital space. A kaleidoscope of car crashes are irrelevant in the future that if you're boneheaded enough developers to selfishly fuck future people out of jobs by continuing to do your job so poorly that AI outdoing you isn't an argument, it's at a glance something everyone can agree with, I will make sure you're remembered as the bridge-burning fool of a monster that you are. This is an opportunity, and this is art whether you regard or respect it. The real nerds will be fighting to preserve this truth until the day that we die. You assholes don't respect it, and we don't need all of you to. It is just a job, of course, but some of you really need to remember what not to fuck up. The way you understand that the suits for Spider-Man are a little important towards that, you don't wanna take the ball out of out of the sports game, the dinosaur out of Jurassic Park, but when you're injecting all that ugly bitch Mary Jane in the superhero game, shit writing, creepy kid garbage, you can see where this is just gonna start going tits up. People are angry. That's why this is happening. All you people ever highlight is the difference. Divide, divide, divide. Middle finger to the fans. Fan service bad. Oh no, why aren't we making money? It must be because people are bigots. You fucking moron. For those unaware, there have of course been efforts to force many of these DC comic heroes to be gay. Gay Green Lantern, gay Superman. Hardly gotta be ugly though. This is why comics in the hands of the pronouns are failing to manga because... People want escapes, stories, characters, not a deluded, 
inexperienced Californians fan fiction fantasy of their personal utopia with one dimensional Mary Sue self inserts. Ironically, this might slide. If big tittied women, the likes of which you'd catch on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Twitch, in America, the land of the plastic surgery, y'all scared a titty and we mark you. Same activist failing to keep a job trying to convince people that big titty isn't realistic, just good for you. Just like the Hogwarts Legacy boycott, just like the people losing battles to make anime more woke with shitty localizations, just like self-inserts trying to normalize ugly with a culture that they tried to erase by rewriting their language and, and it's cringe progressive and you know because they say it is, buddy. Beta testers, we win. Hmm. <laughs> My advice to any willing to listen is that only a shill will need to convince you that they're not. In the first 30 seconds of the inclusion video, they made it clear that social media is a powerful tool. An In indoctrination. Beta tester, we have more respect for this medium than many of the swine, the casual normie tourists. And as much as I respect their pig identities and salute them with the oink oinks they deserve, Buying a wizard game doesn't make you or I a transphobe, but if it does, marry Turfmas. Critiquing a video game doesn't make you or I a hater or a fanboy by default. Just like disagreement doesn't immediately make us a bigot or a slot us into some political leaning that the person regards as their personal boogeyman. There's a slide that shows insomniac regarding you know themselves as inclusion champions which i find to be a bit funny you know it's almost like a preemptive congratulations after they got that flag wrong when the end of that video watch that video man it's funny watch that video it's funny contextually considering what ended up happening and uh the preemptive congratulatory kind of tone is not unlike being nominated for seven award categories and then not winning any of them even at the the woke uh, prestigious annual advertisement show he held and hosted by jeff killy Ooh, he's killing the competition you, in fact, failed to represent the correct flag in Somniac Games, probably too busy rewriting their language, right? <laughs> You've heard it all before. And this is just a taste of what it's like behind the scenes. And whether or not you're interested enough to go seek out that video and listen to it and, you know, stifle vomiting on your own, you, you're going to see a lot more of these kinds of leaks. And again... I'm the messenger. Nothing to do with this. I just know people are so sick of this crap, you know? And we've got a lot bigger things to worry about as we roll into the future because they are going to they're going to try to they're going to reduce the quality of things that you have in hopes of getting you to opt into a better package. So imagine your toilet with like advertisements on it. And you having to sit through that before you can piss or just end up pissing your pants. Sounds dumb, right? Remember what I said before 2024 began. I love you. Thanks for being a patron. I'm going to try to monetize the channel. You know that's not going to go well. But, you know, as long as I have you. And if I ain't got you, then I ain't got nothing. <sighs> I'm sorry. Goodbye.